Okay, I am mixing up some plaster of Paris here to fill in this buck I have for my uh, vacuum form windshield I'm going to try to do. So let's see if uh, what I got here is going to fill this up. Let's see. I'm trying to aim the camera here slowly. And I may have to add some more. If not, I may just leave that as is. Okay. All right, let that set up and we'll see how it goes. If not, I can always put something underneath of it to um, prop it up just a little bit. But I want that to harden because when it comes time to vacuum form, I need something that is going to um, support that and not, not get crushed by the force of vacuum as you'll see later on. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, now we've got the buck the uh, plaster of Paris I made to harden up sufficiently. Here is the uh, vacuum former. It's a unit I got from Micromark some years ago, seven, eight years ago, something like that. Here is the uh, heat control. I'm letting it heat up for the time being. And once the plastic starts to kind of get a little bit wavy, you want to then turn the vacuum on and this red handle here, you can go ahead and uh, hit that or bring the, bring the arm down. Now it might take you five, six, seven, eight tries. It depends how, how good your, your master is, how well vacuumed, there's no exact science. You have to kind of practice that. It can take a bunch of tries before you get the kind of windshield you want. So I'm taking a good look at this, trying to do this with the camera running. Uh, once I can see it's soft enough and it starts to droop, I'll then turn on the vacuum. I think that's right about now. Proofs in the pudding of how this is going to come out. We'll be right back. All right, we've got a tail of <coughs> four windshields here. The first one that you saw running in the machine, well, that didn't come out so well. I had a great big giant crease and I didn't even bother. I just threw it in the trash. This is the second one. And this is what I mean by just distorted glass. It's just too freckly, too pimply looking. I don't like it at all. I have a little bit too much uh, heat exposure. So I'm not going to use that. I did another one after that. And this is much, much better. I see a little bit of a pimple there. And that's, that'll do, I guess. Um, I may go with this one. i got to cut it out some more. But that's pretty much, uh, that's almost perfect. I mean, I, I it reflects well on the glass, on the light, I should say. No distortion when looking at the model through the inside. And that's been my biggest pet peeve for years with model uh, car kit glasses. It's just way too distorted. I cannot stand it. It's like, you guys know I wear thick eyeglasses. I don't want to see a model with glasses as thick as my own eyeglasses. Much difficulties I have seen, my goodness. Here's another one I did. This is the last one I just did. This is not as freckly and pimply looking as the, this one here. A little better. And we'll see how it goes. I'll see how it trims up. Um, Here's a Shelby body here that you guys saw earlier. I, uh, you saw my, my little stop gaps in there for the little holders for the windshield. After I get everything all trimmed up, we'll see how it goes. But that's pretty much it for vacuum for me. I'll do the back, I'll tackle the back window a little bit later on. But right now I just wanted to, everyone to see what the results are when you, when you take your time and do good vacuum for me. So that's, uh, like I said, of the three that's here, this is the best of the three, but I'll see how it trims up and then see how, See how it all turns out. See how it'll fit in my, my window opening here. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, oh, I almost forgot to tell you. The glass I'm using, the, what I'm using for glass here, is 20 thousandths PET G. 20 thousandths PET G sheet. Or in other words, some, some place it's called Vivac, V-I-V-A-K. It's all over the net. Do a search for it. eBay has it. Amazon might have it. There's certain companies out here that have it. You can get it that what I got from a seller on eBay. It was already pre-cut for the machine, already uh, ready to go. Um, but you want 20 thousands. Any thicker than that, you're going to run the troubles. Any thinner than that, it's not going to work. 20 thousands is what you want. 20 thousands PETG or a Vivac sheet. Alrighty, thanks for tuning in. Thanks.